A peer-reviewed study says cell phone radiation may be causing sharp spikes in Alzheimer's cases. That in a study we're reporting at Study Finds. Like and subscribe, please. Researchers say excessive cell phone use and even Wi-Fi radiation can lead to increases in intracellular calcium levels in the brain, another hallmark of the disease. The review of several Alzheimer's-related studies explains that pulse electronically generated electromagnetic fields, or EMFs as they're called, are producing strong electric and magnetic forces which have an effect on the human body. Specifically, researchers say that these wireless communication signals activate what are called voltage-gated calcium channels, or VGCCs. They say these regulate intercellular calcium levels. When EMFs activate VGCC, it causes a rapid buildup negatively affecting the brain and possibly causing the onset of Alzheimer's to speed up. Animal studies have demonstrated how EMF-induced changes in intracellular calcium levels play a role in the development of the most common form of dementia. Washington State University professor Martin L. Paul said, quote, EMFs act via peak electricity and time-varying magnetic forces at a nanosecond time scale, unquote. He said that peaks significantly grow with each increase in the pulse modulation coming from smartphones, smart meters, and even radar in self-driving vehicles. Anyway, Paul went on to say, quote, any of these may produce the ultimate nightmare, extremely early onset Alzheimer's disease. Professor Paul notes that both human genetic and pharmacological studies have found a link between increasing VGCC activity and a growing number of Alzheimer's cases. And Alzheimer's related changes in the brain can start 25 years before actual symptoms appear. However, these studies have found EMF exposure can shorten that latency period as well. The average age that doctors are diagnosing Alzheimer's at is also decreasing over the last 20 years. Professor Paul notes that this coincides with the explosion in wireless communication technology around the globe. Recent studies have even found people as young as 30 or 40 suffering from the disease. In fact, researchers have coined the phrase digital dementia to describe this phenomenon. A 2008 report found two hours of daily exposure to low-intensity mobile phone-based station radiation led to massive neurodegeneration in young rat brains. Moreover, a third of the rats died within one month. In 2013 and 2016, researchers discovered Alzheimer's-specific changes in the brain of rats exposed to EMF pulses. These changes occurred in the hippocampus, a brain region which Alzheimer's has a destructive impact on. Clearly, before we panic here, here's the bottom line. The study author is calling for more research on three specific topics. One, more data on MRI scans which show abnormalities in young people displaying signs of digital dementia. Two, EMF exposure assessments are necessary for anyone between 30 and 40 receiving an early onset Alzheimer's diagnosis. And three, more examinations of people living near small cell antenna for more than a year. Well, I for one hope perhaps we find out there's not quite the correlation and research does continue on this. So on that happy note, we have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just click the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.